Galera, beleza? Sejam bem-vindos a mais um vídeo. E no vídeo de hoje é os highlights, são os melhores momentos das partidas profissionais de CS. Caso você curte esse quadro aqui no canal, não se esquece, se inscreve aqui no canal, sua inscrição é muito importante para a evolução do mesmo aqui na plataforma. Seu like mostra para o YouTube que você curte demais esse estilo de conteúdo, fechou? Deixa de enrolação e vamos para o que importa, são os melhores momentos. Bora lá! Mini now in the form of no way with that little gremlin smoke up top, Nate. He's gonna drop on down, try and clear out Unbreakable. Spots out Myron, but the offer will get the first kill. The Senti trades out onto Luchov. Deco trying to support, but the kills are going the way of Imperial. Three kills to the T's, and only two left standing for Bestia here in the tunnels. They're hiding, they're trying to stay alive. Try Very slow to close in. No kit on the belts. And there's a dink, a player towards secret surprises, Tomazin. He will recover with one kill, but on three HP and a player harassing from above, it seems near impossible. He still finds a second. Phelps, though, finally puts him to bed. The last alive is Noxie. He is towards lobby, and he is calling it quits. He's up on heaven, or up on top lobby, excuse me, dropping away towards T-spawn. You can save that Kevlar and those pistols. The pistol's not so important, but the Kevlar most certainly is. Still a pistol round win for Imperial to start the ludicrous ones in the other broadcast, so... Anything that short is more than welcome. Iron starts things off right though on this four spy, doubling down with the MP9. Descenti descends down below with his teammate ahead of him, but still, it's only three AKs remaining, and a player already rotating down on Tomas. See, this is a very deadly pistol at this range, but he spams a little too aggressively. Descenti survives, gets the bomb to dirt. It's still anybody's round though. The Galil has been recovered from Iron. This player back of sight, Decenti, is marooned and alone. The nade does so much damage. He'll still find one before finally falling. Noxi on the scout gets one. Recovers a deagle, but Phelps picks up where his teammate left off, finding another and tying it up. Myron now, like a little in hand, has to do a lot. He's found the first. He knows the seconds and vents, but they don't have a kit. They have to go up their old-fashioned 10-second stick, and instead they'll just tap it. The fake penny spotted, gets one, tags the second, and the time is nigh. Myron does get the kill. Not a time for the defuse, though, and on 2 HP, the damage was pretty much done. So much control for Imperial that brief two-man advantage. I'm very surprised that didn't see a save of the AK in the dying embers of that round. No real chance in a 1v3, but I guess if you can buy rifles in the next round comfortably enough, then you can at least try to do some damage. I can respect that kind of call, I suppose. Regardless, Bestia do have rifles. They have an AUG on Tomazin, who's doubling down. Noxy has his op, and there's an M4s on the remainder. Myron, Deco, and Luchov. Two AOSs and an A4. The op of Noxy, a rare miss in the last player. Vinny, this round is a very succinct one. For Actually, from Noxy. And that's going to be a spicy little start for Bestia. They don't know yet. And Henny gets caught by Noxy on the second time of asking. There we are. Opening pick for Bestia. And maybe Phelps will get caught as well. It's all down to timing. And it favors the Brazilian. Deco in the meantime. Domes to Senti. Noxy aggressive. And Thomasin comes in. Three flashes, two smokes. That's it. Barely oh, any util for Nuke. But to Senti, the taps onto Deco. Will open up some space for Imperial to exploit and Noxy too. This is where the individuals, particularly a man with a 2.0 KD at 12 and 6, eight rounds into the game, comes into play. Senti's ascending to the top of the scoreboard, 12 as you mentioned. Kind of snuck his way up there, in my opinion. Myron trying to limit the bleeding, trying to stem the bleeding, finds nothing. Henny finds him. Phelps drops blue top. The last is Tomazin. He has an AK, a one shot, a headshot, a first secured, a second spotted, but Vinny's crouch. Dodges the bullets. Myron spray doesn't find anything. It's a very slow and methodical round from Imperial this time. They set up their utility. In they go. Deco only good for one. Oh. Phelps with a double entry. Two crisp headshots. The man with a 1.48 impact coming alive. Finally shut down. Noxie eats the HE. Takes a shot as Luchov goes one for one. Noxie punished and Vinny and Descenti. They knew there were two on the floor proper. Will they expect this boost back up in heaven? I don't think so. This might be the yeah, exactly they need. They heard the player backside. Good shot from Vinny. They will clear it. Noxie, though, still finds two before falling. What they needed to stay in this round, Bestie, but they need more. Still a two versus two. Make it a one versus two. No way. Locking Tomazin out of the round. They can just mire him. Veteran. One versus two against an op holding the cross and a player on site, but he Ooh. swings before the smoke blooms. Myron's got to run around. No kit on the ground. Time. Time is gone. He's got to run. And Henny's still holding. Op in hand. He knows what's coming. He will not miss that punishing kill. Pure have been given so much control. They had to know something's up. Bestia really aggressing ramp, as you mentioned. MP9 taking point, and Tomazini's lucky to be alive. He'll actually get one before falling, at least. Decenti taken down. Tomazini's still kicking, but Henny 
Then drops the compatriot. Tomazin, a niche angle, and it does pay off. The op looking the wrong direction. Four versus two off the back of that MP9. Vinny and Phelps now. The last one's in the yard. Good damage from Phelps. That fire will burn. Luchov alive. Unless he can stay alive in this corner. Phelps knows exactly where he is. Surely there's the kill. Dead to rights at long last. With only 30 seconds left, Imperial have to make a move. Two long-standing Brazilian players, Phelps and Vinny, into a 2v1, Nate. This was a 4v2. It's a 1v1. He can win the round, but he's not going to. He's creeping forward. Vinny has to check his angles. Time is of the essence. Tomasin walks in. Headshot delivered by Vinny. A 9-3 half for Imperial as we head to the Vinny. We'll look for Meyer in the shadow. will betray him, and Vinny's shot will not miss. A good start, but will he expect the second? The answer is a very swift no. Tomazin, a good trade. Phelps at range with the duel. He just can't quite get the shots in. He'll do damage, but he won't get the outright kill. An awkward spot to be in now is Bestia. Race down towards V. Are Imperial prepped to rebuke this take? I'm not so sure. It's a nice little headshot at range with those duelies for Phelps. Luchov going aggressive up towards Ramp to try and hold the line, knowing they are down on players and now down to zero. Henny in no way come through for the final kills. This does look pretty impregnable here on A. What do you do? Second vents, this hut angle for no way. Henny up top. No way also playing anti-flash. There's a double from Phelps in secret. Now the three are going to try to explode onto A. No way denies the first and second entries. And Deco, the last outside. What can he do? Spotted by Phelps. Vinny will peek and put the finishing touch on that round. <laughs> Phelps sent the molly out inspecting. It's a good opening pick there for Decenti. Tomazin, the one to fall. And the fact that Decenti actually gets out of there, he's still a threat. We'll have to clear him out. Noxie lurking out of hut. Spots out Vinny. He'll just retreat, trying to make sure nobody's pushing in through lobby behind him. Descent, he gets a second and a third! You cannot allow these multi-frags! A man with a one-shot HP count! Myron doubles up, but the damage has been done. So many times we have seen Imperial from positions such as Descenti. No HP, finding ways to get two kills, three kills. If you're bestie, you cannot allow that to happen. That keeps happening. You are going to lose rounds. You are not going to be able to keep an economy. You're not going to be in rounds. You should be at least somewhat close in. Henny and Vinny with the mop-up job on the site. An Imperial will finish the round and the map 13 to three. An absolute stomp. Risk to feed on map one. It could very well be nerves that slows them down. Regardless, it was a slow crawl around the map, followed up by a play over towards B. Smokes down for both requisite lanes, but still two on the site to try and defend Vinny. Burned out, caught by Meyer, and a second kill across the map to start things off over to... But they still have to hold the line against Tenny Decenti in no way. There's the first, Tomasine, another one for him, traded out, and he's got a third as well. Henny stuck by truck, it's a 1v2, but Noxie puts him to bed. Getting most of the map control to Bestia. Okay, I like how they're taking banana control here as the hit comes in. Myron gets to Senti. Henny and Phelps are able to grab two. So it's a two for two trade on the side entry. Noxie sprays down Henny. So the site control is now gone for Imperial. The rotations are here quickly. The smoke will allow a cross out of library, but Myron traces through the smoke. No way, one and two! He's down to 32 HP, but he can tank one shot. Still have a little bit of HP left. Noxie, 51 HP. Resetting on the site, getting close. Around that first box, the spray from no way pops on up. The bell is... I like this setup, a very big change from what they had before. The issue is the spam on the Vicente does a lot. Deco traded. Phelps around the these... Does have the bomb, but they have so many numbers. Well, flash goes over. The hunt is on. Second flash blinds Tomazin. Molotov for no way's position, but no way will win the fight. There's the trade from Luchov, leaving Henny's op as the sole survivor for Imperial. And he will most likely survive. Being the deep, he will now. As the hunt is called off. He missed. He did mention some recent results for Bestia, Nate, and there's a good start for round number five, for six, excuse me. Good utility in response, but Vinny trying to double back, trying to actually find an advantage, that's foolhardy. Force him back a little bit. 
can still find a fleeting frag. No, he'll only get the tag, not the bag. No, my zine. Chucks in an aid for good measure. And Phelps across the map will at least stymie the B take for the next couple seconds. It's going to be a rotate off of B as well by Bestia. Booking it to the A site. Myron leading the charge here. Going into apartments low on health. The odds are not great for Bestia in this round. Especially with two players holding the A site so steadily. Making all the noise now are the T's as well. Deco spraying. Henny's trained on the angle. He spotted and Myron removes. They don't clear cold box. They do not clear cold zero box. And that lets Descenti clutch up on the site. He did have Phelps coming. Look, if Henny just gets a little bit more aggressive, tries to find the opening with a little bit more onus, they might be able to make something of it. But as it stands, he's playing a little bit too slow. No way. Up close and personal, where the UST finds one. Phelps doubling up in response over top of the smoke. And a player now getting in towards Banana could sow some chaos. Imperial might just snowball their way to an upset victory on a save round. Again, it's angles not being checked or expected by Bestie that's costing them in significant ways. Vinny will find the P250 frag. Noxie he swings. He's so low on ammo, able to scrounge away a, re a reload, but he's on 30 HP. The op of Henny's going to try and beat him back to A, and he will beat him with time and a half to spare. Running up towards middle, shut down by the veteran. This aggressive position towards mid might even just get dismantled by the push, too. Well, actually, no, Phelps will get three kills on the hold towards Brackets, and that holds things down for Imperial. That is massive. Noxie wants a way to win this round. He has to do it himself. He's not going to be given an opening. No one's going to press at this point. They're more than happy to rest on their laurels. Phelps holding the angle. Well read by Noxy. But Phelps still does more than enough damage to seal the deal in this round. With 45 seconds left, Noxy only has 14 HP. Both sites are being covered. The off angle's more than enough for Henny in this situation. Flash goes in. The op finds him with ease. Oh my. Imperial are very good when it comes to getting momentum and running off of that momentum, Nate. And the half score lines are just about even. 52%-ish for both C and T CT halves for Bestia. One-for-one one trade engagement out towards Top Banana. The bulk of the T's going up towards A. Phelps making his rotation in Arches. Hold the line. Running away now. Flashing support for Descenti over in Pit. Contact made by no ways. He's made the rotation through as well. First kill goes the way of Imperial. Deco shut down by Phelps. Mired maybe next to fall. Phelps is low. Tomazine has Descenti, but no way trades it back. He'll add another one to his tally. A 4K for no way and a two round lead for Imperial as we hit the half. Had another best of three to play and a chance to get some tickets to Malta. I don't know about you, Nate, but a trip to Malta sounds pretty darn nice. Getting to play some Counter-Strike while you're at it sounds even better. No way charging in, but knocked C up top. Oranges will get the first. The Flames from Henny will trade one back. Deco and Luchov get two more, make it three, as Luchov bags a hat trick. Right, one goes for the trade. Half the time, they wouldn't lose anybody at all, and they're getting to get a bomb down here early on. Phelps is going to take a lot of damage, though, crossing. The retake coming on through the nade will not be impactful as it's Deco to finish off Phelps. Knocked C going on through. This pop one towards Banana. No way. Peeks in. Descenti has another. But Deco from Coffins, or what used to be called Coffins, is now popping up top. Descenti, the last one standing in a 1v2. Deco's gone three kills. Myron sticking and holding. It's ninja time. And he's not faking. Pros don't fake. And Bestia escape with an eight. He'll be the first man in. The bulk death ball of Imperial could be so lethal. Out they go. Vinny spotted. He's not taken down, but Senti does fall. In comes the spray. Myron good for one. 2v4 with no time and no HP. Does not look likely for Imperial here. Deco's rotation onto site. Tomazine tucks in as well. Under 10 seconds. No chance for Vinny. And no... That'll bring a man advantage and a much needed boon to Imperial here on this T side. Luchov catches Henny trying to swing, though. The aggression not yet punished. And Luchov will smoke his way out of dodge. Get back to top car. Back away to side. Tomasin the blind side, but nobody strikes before he falls. 3v3. The damage being done by Imperial. Ludicrous as it stands. Great flash. That is the kind of pushing I've been looking for from Imperial on this T half. We get to see it now. Descenti with a salvage top will refrag onto oh, Deco, leaving Luchov in a 1v2. Walking through a smoke. They're watching. They're waiting. He gets one. Pistols. 
Two AKs. One of those on Noxie at 8 HP. Uchav on a pistol, though, proving my doubts wrong. And Noxie in the right spot on 8 HP. Able to find a second. A lot rests on that to finish this round in favor of the best. That's a nice little peek from Bedroom, putting Phelps to sleep. The op from Luchov and Dark make it so for no way. And he'll get a second as well. They're still teetering on the brink. It's still far from over. The op of Noxie within around Arch. Needs to be careful not to get caught out. Tomazin harassing from Porch. Finds three! Finally traded, but the damage has been done. Vinny's trying to pull it back. He ties it up at least. In fact, he secures an advantage three of his own in response between, Wait. however, Vinny and Henny. 20 HP between them. Echo, though, can he actually secure the clutch? He finds one, he reads it perfectly. Immediately thinking about rotating towards A. No, he doubles back. Vinny trying to play the off angle, trying to play whack a mole, but he's the one destroyed by Deco. The tenuous lead expands to. But there's a player on the balcony, it's going to be totally neglected. Phelps is dead to right, so Mazine, one, spots the second. Nice bait and switch from Iron and Pit. A second secured, again unanswered. 5v2 for Henny and Noe. At this point, they might even contemplate saving the rifles, but will Bestia allow that? No way. Leave here, but it's triple map point for Bestia. Imperial. Head to head should end, given the history between these two teams. Aggression towards middle at this point from Imperial. They have no utility. They're just going forward as best they can. No way in descent to open it up. Give them something to desperately cling to. Phelps triples down. Bestia and Imperial. We set up this game as a battle between team focused on individual performance and a team heavily focused heavily prioritizing team play but when you he's alone on the site now smoke goes down luchov was holding towards ct echo has to do it all here swinging out timing's perfect one secured on the duels more than could be expected phelps finds one but deco gets a double still alive as well towards the firebox through the duels don't do it looking for a third he's still dancing deco making the duels look perfect Kenny doubles down phelps finally unseats deco it looks like what was what? a chaotic round could be over five seconds left to my zine he got another he made it away no. the second the bomb hits the dirt but can Dissenti bring it back from the brink? Tomazine dancing around the fountain is felled. Dissent. Clear up first oranges and Luchov and Deco around the smoke. Spam comes in. The 5-7 will be the one to emerge victorious in the first. But Henny, trade via Noxy. Deco on the fountain does not fare much better. Luchov, though, is still kicking. The 5-7 tripling down, securing an advantage. Again, it's a bloodshed on the B site. Henny dancing around. A good quick scope onto one, but he's still stuck up the creep without a paddle. He needs support from Dissenti. It will finally come through. The bomb will hit dirt. Tomazine can't succeed. The op is the one that does it in. 12 to 12, we're heading to overtime, ladies and gentlemen. Considerably. Overtime, MR3, 12.5K. Henny burning, but he makes Deco pay. Well thought out. A good risk for the offer. An X Factor finding an opening. Tomazina now might be unseated over towards the Arch Cubby. Good nade forces him out. Descenti aids and finds the kill. Another one towards the Arch is expected. Meyer, though, still finds a double. Henny trading. Noxy and Pimp only good for one. Henny and No Way, though, still securing an advantage situation. And Henny is feeling it. Being rather patient with their setup. Trying to go to peek out of Bestia. Now they spotted Deco. The op won't be there, but Vinny has found the headshot. Tomasine spotted and removed. Vinny gets Ooh. three. He goes new. Bomb halfway gone. Round is pretty gone with it. Still, no hazard something. Myron pre-firing. Can't get the kill. Vinny finds that. The op of Nazi. Sure, blow for blow. But at this point, the round is over. It's conceded. Smoke going down for more banana control. Henny making sure nobody comes from behind, but Noxie dropped by Phelps, who's found a double out of apartments. Tomazine equalizes things here. Takes a massive amount of damage. Finny blind, rushing in. That's his own flashbang into that bush, but it works out perfectly. The drive-by allows the bomb to go down. Now Lujov and Deco on the outside looking in. Great nade damage onto Lujov, who gets domed by Vinny. Up to Deco now in a 1v3 to a 1v2. A flank coming in from the off of Henny. Vinny will hold the line. Massive back-to-back -back rounds from him and the tell. Can't either, but it's going to be a B play. It's come in, smoke off from Vinny. No way on sight gets one good swing from Vinny. Perfectly timed in the spam from CT. Does so much to Myron. Sight control will be taken. Bomb plant will hit dirt in the fountain. 
But a three versus four on low HP and no utility now to rebuke this retake means that Imperial are well poised in this post plan. No more utility bar Molotov for Imperial. That could be so dangerous flushing players out for Pestia. And it goes Deco forced into the open. Drop by the op of Henny. Meyer, crisp headshot, but they need more. Noxie, one more, but it's Henny and Vinny to mop up the rest. The bomb defused and Imperial for the first time in the last three months will take down Bestia. And for the first time in their best of three meetings, it is a 2-0 Imperial. It took overtime on map two.